Hi there, we're going to read chapter 16 of Black Beauty. This chapter is called Poor Ginger. One day, a shabby old cab drove up beside ours as we stood waiting for customers. The horse was an old, worn-out chestnut with a dirty coat and bones showing through its coat. The knees were a mess and its front legs were wobbly. I had been eating some hay and the wind rolled a little clump that way. The poor animal put out her long, thin neck and picked it up. Then she looked about for more. As I was trying to think about where I had seen that horse before, she looked right at me and said, Black Beauty, is that you? It was Ginger, but how she had changed. The beautifully arched neck was now straight. Her legs were swollen from hard work. The face that was once so full of spirit and happiness was now full of suffering. I could tell by the heaving of her sides and her cough how bad her breathing had become. I stepped closer to my old friend and asked her how she was. She had a sad story to tell. After I left, she had stayed at the home where we were together for another year. Then she was fit for work again and was sold once more. For a little while, she did very well, but after riding hard again, she soon became sore all over. After she had rested there a while, she was sold another time and many times after that. And so at last, she sighed, I was bought by a man who keeps a lot of cabs and horses and rents them out. I cannot tell you how awful my life has been. They whip me and work me hard, never thinking about how I suffer. I work all week with never a Sunday off. What happened, Ginger? You used to stand up for yourself if you weren't treated right. Ah, she said, I did once, but it's no use. Men are stronger, and if they are mean and without feeling, there is nothing we can do. I hate to suffer another day, but you look well, and I am glad for you. I put my nose up to hers, but I could say nothing to make her feel better. I do think she was pleased to see me, for she said, you are the only friend I ever had. Just then her driver came up, and with a tug at her mouth, he drove her off, leaving me very sad indeed. A short time after that, a cart with a dead horse in it passed by our cab stand. It was an old chestnut with a long, thin neck. I saw the white streak down her forehead. I believe it was Ginger. I hoped it was, for then her troubles would be over.